Hey guys, it's Andrew from Softmodder. Today I'm going to be showing you how to sim unlock your GSM HTC One. Now this will make it so that if you have a carrier specific model like the AT&T AT Mobile One, you'll be able to switch up your sim cards between the two. Now again, this only works with the GSM version, so com carriers like T-Mobile or, or AT&T will work, but if you have a Verizon or Sprint, it will not. And this does work with the M7 or M8. Now to get started, the first thing that I want to do is get your IMEI number. In order to do that, just go ahead and open up your phone app and dial star pound zero six pound and it will display your IMEI number. You could also check it from your settings app by going to settings, scrolling down to about, and then go to phone identity and then your IMEI number will be up top. After you have that, you're going to want to go and click on the link in the full tutorial to the CMP website and that's where you're going to generate your unlock code. Alright, after you have your IMEI number, you're going to head to the CMP website and from there, you're going to input your email, your phone type, and your IMEI number. And um, under phone type, depending on which model you have, you're either going to type HTC1, M7, or M8. And after you put that all in, you're going to hit send and it'll send you an email containing the config.dat file that you're going to put onto the parent folder of your SD card or USB drive. That means you're not going to put it in any subfolder because if you do that, your phone will not be able to read it when it flashes that file. Okay, so if you have the M8, you're going to want to go ahead and put in the SD card right into it. And that's it. If you have an M7, you're going to plug in the USB drive into the USB port of the OTG cable, plug in the power source as well, and then plug it all into your M7. And that's pretty much it. Your M7 will read it right away when you put it into bootloader mode. To put it into bootloader mode, you're going to want to hold the power button and the volume down button for about 20 seconds. And you'll see that menu pop up. And that's where we're going to flash that config.dat file that we put on there. And that'll pretty much unlock your device. Alright, so it doesn't matter whether you have the M7 or M8. The screen will look the same on either one. And after you have it on your H boot menu, scroll down to SIM unlock. Press the power button. Give it a second, your device will restart. And then when it starts back up, it'll say that a couple fails, but then all you're pretty concerned about is the IME checking pass and then process done reboot device. As long as it says that, you're all set. So just press volume up. Your device will restart right back into bootloader mode. And then you're able to restart your device. So just go back down to the bottom, hit reboot, and then you're all set. You can tell by the bottom logo on my M8 that it was intended to run on AT&T only, but now that I SIM unlocked it, any GSM SIM card will work fine. So to test this out, I'm going to go ahead and put in my T-Mobile SIM. Go ahead and put it in. Give it a second, and then it should register onto its network. And you can see there that I already have signal, and then I'm all good to go with data. And then if you go ahead and select your carrier from the top, you can see that I can just select T-Mobile. Now, if for some reason you're not getting any connection or they're getting an error from your SIM card, the first thing you should check out is your APM settings. So to do that, go ahead and hit open your settings app, hit the mobile data icon, click access point name, and then you can always add a new one. I included a link to a website that has a bunch of different APM settings for different carriers and that will be linked in the full tutorial in the description and once you do that go ahead and click new PN, APN and you'll be able to insert all the settings for um, your specific carrier. Other than that, that's pretty much it. You should now have a fully SIM unlocked phone and if you have an M7 you could also flash an RAU file for your new carrier and that'll make it so that it could pretty much get the official OTAs from that specific carrier but in order to do that you will have to be S off. Um, unfortunately, that isn't an option currently for the M8, but I will let you guys know when that is available. I hope this helps you guys out. Be sure to check out the full tutorial over at HTC One Soft Modder, and like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.